Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in the paradise of East Bumblefuck, New Mexico uh, on this gorgeous Saturday morning, uh, May 13th, 2017, I believe. So I just finished my clueless moron roundup rant. Uh, but Sancho Panza uh, insisted that I make this story from the science pages, the science pages, and uh, on Yahoo News today a separate rant because he wants to hit the bullshit detector button. And this story is a crystal clear explanation of why faith in science is being eroded, where more and more people have just said the, these fucking scientists are so clueless. You, you know, it's just, you know, this is, this is the reason that Donald Trump and, and, and anybody else uh, losing their faith in science is doing so. Uh, many versions of this story just played straight. On, uh, on the mainstream media. I just picked out one. Uh, just picked out one of these. This newest research. This is from the Telegraph. I believe this is in England. Human sense of smell just as good as in dogs. Scientists claim Yes, uh, Sancho Panza, why don't you go, Sancho, while I have this short rant, why don't you go sniff out a gopher? Man, yeah, don't go, you go sniff out a gopher while I'm going over this unadulterated horseshit. Let's just read a few sentences of this, of, of, of this unadulterated horseshit. Whether it's sniffing out bones, bombs, or even cancer, dogs have long been believed to possess a far more powerful sense of smell than humans. But new research reveals this is nothing more than a big myth. Scientists in the U.S. have concluded that mankind is just as good at smelling things as our canine counterparts, and that for some odors, notably bananas, we are even better than dogs. Let's see, I'm going to... Uh, Let's find one quote from study author John McGann. Is it Rutgers or Rutgers or Rugers? I've heard this name pronounced so many ways. Uh, quote, the fact, the fact is the sense of smell is just as good in humans as in other mammals, like rodents and dogs. Uh, guys, is, is there anybody on this planet believing this unadulterated horseshit for one fucking second? Uh, I, I don't know this John McGann guy. What what is what is he up to? Uh, I, I have no clue. I'm assuming he's just trying to see how many people uh, that he can actually convince that this unadulterated horseshit claim. Well, his claim that that humans can smell bananas more than dogs. Well, you know, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, I, I'm quite sure that uh, that a dog, uh, the reason he, he 
cannot smell a banana is there is no reason that a dog would ever have any interest in smelling a fucking banana. Uh, I, I will gladly bet you, John McGann, you, you clueless fucking moron, and, and right now, you motherfucker, I will bet you one thousand dollars one thousand dollars i'll bet john mcgann or anybody believing this unadulterated horseshit scientific fact for one second here's the bet and and, and i'm gonna let you pick the dog okay you pick the dog and we're gonna meet here i don't care you pick the place and uh what i'm gonna do is get a ham sandwich, a ham sandwich. We're gonna hide it, I don't know, out in the backyard, or hell, hide it in your own fucking living room. Uh, Professor McGann, I'll give you a five minute head start, a five minute head start for you to sniff out, we're gonna blindfold your ass, you clueless motherfucker. We're going to blindfold you we're going to give you a five-minute head start to sniff out a ham sandwich. Then what we're going to do is get the dog of your choice. We're going to blindfold the dog, and we're going to send him out into, you know, the backyard or wherever and see which one of you sniffs out the fucking ham sandwich first. You clueless fucking moron. Uh, you know, as this, this, this article says right up front, dogs can sniff out cancer cells in, in people. Have you ever heard of a fucking bloodhound? I, I'm sure my uh, buddy who just got buzzed, he just finished paying $2,000 because he had a two-year-old joint in a fucking Altoids can in, in, in his goddamn motorhome uh, that he had forgotten all about Th that fucking dog uh, that weed sniffing dog came on uh, this is in Yuma, Arizona and my buddy said that fucking dog walked into his 26 foot camper went like like this and made a fucking beeline to uh, this two-year-old uh, joint in a fucking Altoids can. The end result of that is my buddy ended up paying $2,000 for attempted possession of drug paraphernalia. The, the, not the marijuana, it was the Altoids can. He attempted to possess an Altoids can. And, and here in this day and age, $2,000 in legal fees. Uh, take these goddamn drug-sniffing dogs at these fucking checkpoints very seriously. Here's my own little drug-sniffing dog. I wish my little dog would go sniff me out some drugs. But anyway, guys, I, you know, this is a classic reason that these clueless fucking morons, and this is why we have climate change deniers. This is why we have flat earthers. This is why we have clueless fucking morons. I was just talking about this in my rant, thinking that aliens have cities on the moon and Mars and Saturn. Uh, this is why we have planet Nibiru. Clueless fucking morons. Is, is that when you see this unadulterated fucking horseshit being put out there on the mainstream media with this patently absurd statement that, that humans uh, can have a, a good a sense of smell as a dog. Uh, I, I, I wonder if anybody believing this, anybody believing this has their head stuffed so far up their clueless fucking moron ass. Apparently, they cannot smell their own shit up their own ass. Uh, you know, and we wonder 
while we were a fucking planet of clueless fucking morons with no faith in science. You know, Jesus Christ, I, I get so fucking sick and tired of it. Uh, these scientific studies. And, uh, and then there was another one I mentioned. I guess there was a scientific study about why it's good to get up at, at 5 o'clock in the fucking morning. And, and this uh, guy was looking at that study saying, bullshit. And he was coming up with his scientific reasons not to get up at 5 o'clock in the fucking morning. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this little rat because it is an unbelievably, spectacularly gorgeous day here in the garden. And, uh... I need to go uh, get my uh, my Walmart tomatoes and peppers to get in the ground and get out there and start uh, replacing this drip irrigation system. We have a major drip irrigation project here in the end times. Look at this. Look at this day, guys. Look at this gorgeous day. No one said the collapse of a planet had to be ugly. Get out there and enjoy it while you can, folks. It ain't going to be around much longer. Bye, guys.